everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute rocker card. So I've got the sports theme going on here and then it just rocks. I probably pushed it a bit too far there, but you get the idea. Really, really fun to make. I have made a few rocker cards now and I've got a playlist. I'll share that up here for you. But I'll just bring it up a bit closer so you can see. So this is a football theme. I'll show you the paper pack I've used in a minute. I don't do a lot of, you know, cards for guys, so I thought I would do this one here in a male theme. And then it's got Let's Celebrate and Champion on the back. And I've got this piece in the middle here to stop it spreading out too much, because if you do go quite heavy on top, this will end up just kind of going like that. and It will just go flat, whereas if you add that little piece there, it does make a difference. And obviously you've got plenty of room on the back there. It, feel, it fits nicely into a 6x6 six six envelope and I've just decorated the front of just a plain 6x6 six six envelope here with some of the same matching pattern paper. And yeah, I just think it's really, really fun. So let me show you how I made this one. Okay, so I've got some red card here. This is just the little A3 card that I shared in one of my What Did I Get? It's a beautiful card and I know a few of you have already got some. So I've just used the red from that. I'm using my circle cutter but to make this you can use any um, plates, saucers, you know, anything circular, dies, things like that. But I'm going to be using that today and I will link everything that I use as always. This is what I've used for the sentiment on the back, the Let's Celebrate, was this one here. And again, I know loads of you are buying this. Oh, sorry, it's got all that glare. This is the Dovecraft General stamp set. Uh, you can see it there. Really, really good one. And I think it's it's four pound. Well, two, no, it's two pound, isn't it, I think? Two pound, two pound, three pound, something like that. It's cheap anyway, so that's why lots of you have been buying it. Then I have used my Sizzix circle dies. Again, I'll tell you the measurements of those in a moment. And then I've got my envelope and the measurements for that, which I'll talk you through. So it's, yeah, it's, it's really straightforward to make. You can make this any size you want, but I did think I'll keep it to six by six. I think the other ones I've done are larger. I think that was more of an eight by eight kind of size. So what you want to do is, first of all, is set your dial on this to six inches. Okay, so it's about, in centimeters, it should be around 15. Yeah, it's just over 15 centimetres. And uh, just take the back off there. And you just want to cut yourself a circle in your main card colour. Okay, so you see there, my red is that main circle there. So I'm just going to hover this over first because I want to make sure I get it as close to the edge. Okay. So there I have that one and that's my six inch one. Then I'm going to drop this down to five and three quarters, no five and a half, no yeah five and three quarters. Okay so again whatever you've got you just want to try and drop it down so if you've got you know this is a side plate and then you've got a saucer and then you've got something else like a die then that's fine. So five and three quarters and I'm going to cut that in some white card. So again, just hovering it around here. Like so. All right, and then you want to drop it down again to five and a half and cut your pattern paper. Now I'd already cut mine, so I have this here. So this is, and you're just going to use half because it's just going to cover this piece here. But if you drop it down, and I'll show you how to cut that one in a second. So that's everything there. Then the circles that I've used for, I guess, the topper, this all this piece here at the top. This is the largest circle from those Sizzix ones. Again, any circle dies. You can use a compass as well and cut it out freehand. So this is three and three eighths of an inch diameter. Then this one is three sorry hang on yeah three and three eighths and then this one is three so I got myself confused then three inches and then I just come got this one off of clip up free images so I just blew it up so it's two and a half and they're just all going to sit probably on some foam adhesive this time I don't think I did on the other ones but I'm probably going to raise these up a little like that I just thought it looked really fun and um, yeah keep that football theme going so next we want to do a little bit of scoring for the main one. So I'm just popping this in my scoreboard here and you just want to score right through the middle at three inches. Okay. And then just fold that in half. Like so. 
So there is our main rocker. Then with this piece here, so that white piece that we've cut, we want to cut this one in half. So this is five and three quarters. So we want to cut this to two and seven eighths. So just slightly under three and just cut that one in half. Because what we're going to do is when you sit this over the top, you'll see it won't line up properly. And we want to basically, if you bring it up, you'll see you get a nice border. So bring it back in again and you want to take about a quarter of an inch off. So you want to line up this arch side. Make sure this is running nice and parallel, okay? And then this arch side, you want it to sit at two and three quarters. And then if you pop it back over now, we'll get that really nice red frame all the way around. So again, this one here, make sure this is nice and straight and just sit that at two and three quarters. And that one's going to go on the back for you to write your message. Perfect. Okay. And then this one is your five and a half diameter. It was, wasn't it? I'm getting myself confused. Yeah, five and a half. And you want to pop this one in and you want this arch side to line up at two and a half. Okay. And then trim it. And then you're just taking off that excess and that will then allow you to stick it over the white one. So again, you get that nice same border. Okay, so that's those, that's that all done. So now it's just the fun part of sticking it all together and then we'll put the hinge piece in at the end. So first of all, you just wanna stick down your white pieces on both sides. Okay, and then it kind of looks like that Pokemon. I don't know anything about Pokemon, but I know that kind of is the colors or something. And then isn't there like a black in there as well? Anyway. It's reminding me of that. <laughs> and then this one, decide which you want to be your front and back, and you're going to just stick that one down. Now, if you do want to have anything, you know, you might want your topper, for example. See, isn't that looking more like something to do with Pokemon? I don't know. But if you have that inside, you might want to then put your mat over the top. And it's kind of looking like a boat now. So, yeah, just kind of think about those things before you stick these down if you do want to add maybe some acetate because some of my other ones if you look at that playlist that might give you a bit more inspiration with decoration have a look at them because I've used acetate I've also cut pieces out of it so yeah there's so many different variations but I thought I would revisit it because I was doing this kind of football theme and I wanted something round so there is that one it's really cool um, papers oh actually I didn't show you the pack this one Paper Addicts Game On. It's really, really good. You get all these really nice pieces to fussy cut. So I've got the tickets, I've got the little trophies there, the goal, the word champion. I've done the little footballs. But I did, again, go through this in a bit more detail on my uh, What's in the Box video. But you can see there you've got cricket, you've got baseball, you've got the swimmers, you've got tennis, archery, golf. Formula One, bike, bicycles, I was going to say biking then, um, what else, that's it, and then all the rest are kind of like, oh yeah, then you've got all the different balls there, yeah, it's really nice, I like this one. Okay, so when you go to add your topper, you want to take into account that you want this to fit in your 6x6 envelope, so I'm using my grid here, each of these squares is three, is one inch, so one, two, three inches, which is correct, and then one, two, three inches, so I can go up to this crossed over area here so when I sit that down I know I've still got room there because there's that area there and that, my grid just helps me line everything up so I'm going to stick that with just about half an inch of it actually sticking onto the card and then I can build this up and also you can you know as long as you stay within this section here you can have all these bits hanging out like I've done here so look if I sit that over the top as long as you stay within that square area, even down here you could have stuff, but then it wouldn't rock, but you, you get what I'm saying. As long as you stay within that six by six area, it will fit in your envelope. So I'm going to stick a little bit of this red down first of all. Okay, and then when you've stuck that down, to make sure it's in the middle, if you, stick, if you stand it up, it shouldn't, you know, if, it's, if you've gone slightly more to the left, then you'll find your rocker will start to, you know, slope towards the left hand side 
and the other, you know, vice versa if you've got it, you know, off a bit. So mine is is sitting pretty spot on, so I'm happy with that. Because that's the one thing I would say is, again, I'll touch on it in a minute, when you start building this up, you want to do one bit on one side, then on another, then on another, and on another. So you keep it balanced. There's nothing worse than uh, making your rocker and then it just <laughs> stays on one side and doesn't really rock. So I'm going to stick my next circle down there. And then I've got my football, which I'm going to pop on some foam adhesive. Okay, like so. Already it looks really fun. You could just add a sentiment now and leave it at that. But of course I've got to add lots of decoration because that's what I like to do. So like I said, I've gone and cut all these. And what I did do, because it's double-sided paper, is I stuck all of these pieces that I fussy cut onto plain white cardstock using the Taser Easy Stick. I really like this one because once it's once it's set, it dries rock hard, really stiff. So it makes them like little ephemeras. So you've got some really nice pieces now. So sometimes, you know, if I'm a bit bored or if I don't really know what I want to make, I'll cut and fussy cut lots of things out, stick them down and then cut them out again with the white. So it also gives them that white frame. That white frame is the card that I stuck it onto. So it just gives them a little bit more, makes them a lot more solid and a bit more easier to use. So yeah, I'll link this, but it is handy. You can buy a pack of three and they last for ages. So another handy one to have. So I've got my sentiment. This was just a happy birthday from a free magazine from one of the creative stamping magazines a long time ago. But I'm just gonna start building this all up. So just remember what I said. So for example, I'm gonna stick this one down here. So then I'm next, I'm gonna stick, actually I want it that way because I know it's gonna work, that one and then that one. And then I've got the smaller one, which I've already put some foam on the back of, and that's gonna go like that. Each time check it and rock it just to make sure it works. And then this one here will go like that. And then I've got the goal and goal there, and then that one in the middle. And then the champions for the back, and I've got these tiny, probably can't even see them, but these are the little footballs, and I've popped some foam adhesive on, a bit, on three, two of them. I've cut three all together, and I'm going to stick them down as well. Okay, so I've stuck everything down and you've probably noticed me cutting some more of this piece here, the goal, because mine is doing exactly what I said you don't want yours to do. See, mine is tipping off slightly to the left-hand side and I don't know why because I've stuck everything the same way. But hey-ho, something's gone on. So what I'm going to do is add the in piece in the middle, see if it's still doing it, and then I'm going to have to find something to maybe go here just to, yeah, get that back on track so it's nice and straight. So for this piece in the middle, what did I use? I can't remember what I cut. So it was a piece that was three, yeah, three quarters by three. Okay, and all you want to do is score at half an inch, at one and a half, and at two and a half. Okay, so you should have three score lines. There we go, okay. And you just want to fold the middle one, you want to fold up, and then the two outer ones, like so. So you should have that shape, so you should have a valley, mountain and valley. Okay, then you're going to add glue to the sides of these two pieces here. I'm just going to add some glue. Like that. And then open it up and stick it right down as far as you can in the centre. So I'm, going, I'm going to use my grid here. So in the centre and then push that piece up and bring that down so the whole thing's concealed. Just hold it there for a second. And also don't stamp it once you've stuck it down like I did because you want to stamp your sentiment before you stick this white piece down just in case you did obviously make a mistake. I mean, the worst case is you just have to stick something over that white again, but yeah, do that before. But now you should have that. So it means it will only open up the, the, the two inches, okay? It won't go any further. So let's try it again, make sure my mat's okay. Ah, that's better. This sorted it right out. So again, pop that on and then it you know, may well help you out a little bit as well. Actually, my mat is a bit, it's got a slight little bubble there, probably because I use heat on this. But if I push down on the mat, it completely levels out even more. If I take my finger off, you see it just moves ever so slightly. Push my finger out, down. 
so that's what's doing it because I thought I can't understand why it's not working so anyway that's the card done really like I said very quick very straightforward this here is a six by six envelope saying that though they are slightly larger so it's six and one eighth by six and one eighth I cut that to six by six you see it sits over the top there so this is just the reverse of the goalie or the football player I don't know what position he is I have no interest in football whatsoever but many do so I know this card well I've actually been asked to do a few so I know it's going to be used so just stick that there and then this little piece here is just so you can see obviously who you're sending it to and that's three by one and a half I'll just stick that down okay so there you have it two really quick rocker cards I think these look great like I say even though I've got no interest in football whatsoever I think they look fantastic I really like these and now I know that it's my mat that's creating it to slightly you know tilt to one side although now it seems to be fine again but yeah I just think they look really really fun so I hope you like them hope you give it a go check out that playlist because like I said there is a lot more inspiration there as well and different styles more feminine ones and bigger ones as well but this is the six by six size so it's super cute so I hope you've enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more thanks for watching bye